You're plotting a new course again, aren't you? The currents before us are ever changing. We must adapt and press forward if we are to see our journey's end. And how will we know when we get there? Greetings, programs. My name is Wretch, and welcome to Sid Meier's Civilization VI. That's probably one of the coolest intro videos they've done for a Civ game. Um, there have been a lot of really good games coming out this month, and when I, I, I was thinking about a good one to do on the channel, but at the end of the day, there was really no question that I was going to do Civ VI. I love the playthrough of Civ V I did on the channel with the Shoshone. And, um, yeah, just can't wait for this. Um, they've done a few changes to the base game in terms of like city management and other aspects and I'm looking forward to discovering what they are. I've did a little uh, one turn just to see how everything was recording here so I don't know a whole lot about it. It's gonna be a really fun journey. I'm glad you guys are here to join me for it. So let's go ahead and create a game. Now in terms of game difficulty we're gonna go for Prince, Game Speed Standard, Continents, and we are going to go with Standard, which is going to be an average size map for eight players. And speaking of players, we need to determine what civilization we're going to be. Uh, one, The only real thing that's disappointed me in the game so far is while a lot of the civilizations in this game are very, very um, in-depth, there's not a whole lot of them compared to like other civilization games. So, out of all the civilizations present... I think we're going to go for a classic one. I want to go with Rome. Um, all roads lead to Rome, and we start with uh, Trajan as the leader instead of Julius Caesar, which is a interesting deviation from tradition. All cities you found or conquer start with a trading post. If in trade route range of your capital, they also start with a road to it. That's pretty awesome. All cities start with an additional city center building thanks to Trajan's column. And we get Legion, of course, as our unique unit, um, the Roman Baths as our unique building. And I think this is going to be fun. Let's go ahead and go for it. Everything looks good. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Cast your net wide, O Trajan, Emperor of mighty Rome. Your legions stand at the ready to march out and establish the largest empire the world has ever seen. If you can truly get all roads to lead to Rome, 
Yours will be an empire of great riches and luxuries. Surely then our citizens will proclaim you as their best ruler. The Optimus Princeps. I really like that they got, um, was his name? The actor who played, um, Eddard Stark to, um, do the voiceovers for this. Because I think they've had Liam Neeson before. They had Leonard Nimoy, obviously. It's uh, pretty cool that they get all these awesome actors to do the narrations. So we got Trajan. He was actually Emperor of Rome while the Empire was at the absolute peak of its borders. So let's go ahead and wait for this to load. Oh, I'm excited. I wonder where we're going to end up. I didn't see if there were any kind of like pre-made maps or anything. Um, because if we remember from the Shoshone playthrough, we did a map of the actual planet. Unfortunately, uh, we were not in our traditional starting location. So, oh, we're between two rivers. That's a good sign. Interesting. We've got jade, cattle, two sources of stone. This is, I think this is good. Let's go ahead and build Rome right here. Now, check, um, we'll see if we can check this out. I love it. It's the Fog of War is one of those old style maps. And the map goes away the farther, obviously, as we reveal more of the map. Well, let's go ahead and just follow the river. We've got desert up north of us and sources of banana. But green is good. We also got elephants nearby. Choose production. What are we going to build here, guys? Let's go ahead and be traditional. We're going to go for a warrior for defense of the city. And choose our research. Animal husbandry. Mining. Pottery. Able to construct pastures that can be built on cattle, sheep, or horse resources. Well, since we've got a thing of cattle right next to us, we'll go for that and then we'll go for mining as well. Game's looking really good, um, very much like the styling of it. The music is awesome as well. Apologies if you see any black bars here on the side. For some reason, it does not want to uh, set to traditional uh, screen, like the 1280 by 720. So, something we'll have to make do with. Here's our first village. And what are we going to get here? And we have reached the ocean. Huzzah. Let's see what the natives are doing. Reconnaissance units like scouts are unique in that they can gain experience by exploring and discovering parts of the world. Excellent. So, move to fortify, skip turn. Can we give other options? Automate exploration. Well, we'll do that eventually, but let's go ahead and have... Looks like the river ends here at the mountains. That side of the river. Let's have our... Oh, he's got a doggy too. That's awesome. We'll have him explore the northern part of the river. And where should our warriors go? Hmm. Oh, well, we've got another river over here. Guess we'll send our warriors this way. No civilizations yet, thankfully. I love how the map just kind of dissolves. That's so cool. And come on, Dougie. So I think when we get our first uh, settler, we'll move him down river unless we're able to find a better building site close by Rome. Head here into the desert. And what about you guys? Oh. Barbarians. I think this is our first barbarians, guys. Awesome. Let's see how combat's done in this game. Lisbon City State has given you a new quest. Construct a campus. Oh. Okay, cool. City States are back. 
Hopefully we'll be able to find it here before to... Oh! Okay. Must have been these guys. Now let's continue through the desert. Now I kind of want to chase down... Okay, that's for Lisbon. So that means... Barbarian Scouts. Bad doggies. See, back in the day, YouTube had a, uh, a feature that if you had a... Oh. new policies in our government can be of great benefit. Our people await your decree. It is not wisdom, but authority that makes a law. Thomas Hobbes. Civic completed. Code of laws. When with your government in thrust to try code of laws, government and social policy changes are free this turn. Neat. Survey... Discipline, urban planning. So we have economic policies and diplomatic policies right now. Or excuse me, economic and military. Um, let's go with urban planning. Production in all cities. That's nice. And let's not do double experience for recon units. Rome always had a problem with barbarians, so we will enact discipline. And what do we have here on chiefdom? Oligarchy, Merchant Republic, Theocracy, Autocracy, Classical Republic. Oh, nice. There's going to be a lot of different types of governments. Oh. Yeah, we'll confirm the policy changes here at least. Awesome. But uh, YouTube used to have this really neat feature that if you had a, a video that had the black bars on the side, you could stretch it a little bit. Open civics. Oh! Where to go from here? Improve three tiles. And to boost, discover a second continent, which we have not done yet, so... It was a kind of a handy thing to do if you had the videos with black bars because it stretched it and made it easier to do, or to fit and look like a good YouTube video. <laughs> Unfortunately, YouTube thought, hey, this seems like a handy feature. You probably should remove it. And that's exactly what they did. I like that it's harder to cross the rivers. Back in the day, um, especially like in Civ 2, the rivers were used as roads. And we may have reached the end. Oh, that looks like a border. That could be a barbarian city. I am fond of pigs. Dogs look up to us. Cats look down on us. Pigs treat us as equals. <laughs> I didn't know that Churchill said that. That's awesome. What should we go from now? Let's uh, let's go with mining. And keep on keeping on here. We got some more cattle that way. Let's send our scout, see if we can have him go above the mountains here. Hmm, are we being tracked? And here's our group of warriors. Let us fortify the capital. And let's go for... Hmm, should we start expanding? Our advisor recommends a settler. So let's go for that. It's going to take us a bit, but no worries. I like the fact that it's named the Con- Ooh, good thing we built, uh... Good thing we built that warrior. I'm not really worried about it. We'll keep the warriors exploring. What is that? Copper. And I think we're gonna about to run into our first civilization here, guys. Our first rivals. The continent that we're on is... what was the name of it? Laurasia. Actually, it seems that we're approaching this um, territory from two different sides. Our city-state neighbors have made a request of us. If we can impress them, I think they will reward us handsomely. Another city-state, Kabul. 
And what did they want from us exactly? Trigger a Eureka for masonry. Hmm. Fair enough. I think we can pull that off. See, we haven't got... We, we know that there's a city there, so it's all kind of sketched out, but not officially on the map yet. We've got rice. Some grain up here. Hmm. Looks like the barbarians have uh, went elsewhere. Probably for the best. However, they do know that Rome is here. Grant. What does this do? Minor victory. Barbarian camp. I guess this is combat area, perhaps? Only one way to find out, right? Our first official barbarian outpost. What's gonna happen here? Who deserves more credit than the wife? We're gonna learn mining is what? Merrill Travis. Now, archery, astrology, bronze working, horseback riding, pottery. It allows harvesting of wheat and rice. What about bronze working? Barracks, encampment, unit of spearmen. Let's go with pottery since it's cheap. And we have a chance of scoring a minor victory against these spearmen. Let's see what happens. Well then. I think a Kabul or Kabul has a pretty decent defensive group here. Or are these workers? No, those are those are warriors. Bom dia. Good day. It is an honor to meet you in person. It seems great minds do attract each other after all. This is Brazil. Hmm. Would you like to visit our nearby city and sample our hospitality? We need to start easy with these guys, the Brazilian Empire. Yes, you have my gratitude. After meeting another civilization, you see the need for new ways to communicate. Eureka, your knowledge of writing has advanced considerably, so it looks like civil like a lot of these texts actually have experience meters, which is kind of cool. We can do another minor victory. We're getting we're getting that XP. Now, where is Where is Brazil? I guess probably farther out this direction, I would assume. We should have our settlers here. Like the Brazilian Empire. Without craftsmanship, inspiration is a mere reed shaken in the wind. Joha Brahms. With your people enthused to try craftsmanship, government and social policy changes are free this turn. Ooh. What do we do? Production toward... 30% production toward builders. Hmm. 50% production toward ancient and classical era melee and ranged units. That's pretty nice as well. What should we do here, guys? We don't have any builders yet in Rome, I don't think. Can we... Look at the actual city itself. Okay. Builders. We're beginning really close to the settlers. Let's... Man. State workforce. Foreign, let's go with foreign trade. Now that we need... Uh, <laughs> we need foreign trade. Since we have met Brazil. And we'll just continue on along the river. And you guys, we're winning. You can get a decisive victory this go around.
I thought it said decisive victory. Your warrior destroyed an enemy spearman. Your soldiers hope a victory over a barbarian outpost is the start of a long line of military successes. Oh, we won. Okay. I was about to say, I thought we lost. Well, huzzah. That is so cool. I love that map. That, that flavor just... Mmm. So good. Promotion available. Plus 7 combat strength versus melee and range unit. Tortoise. Plus 10 combat strength when defending against ranged attacks. Let's go ahead and go for Battle Cry right now. That heal them up uh, significantly. Which is awesome. And is that Brazil? Indeed. Slingers. So I guess that's their first... Uh, the first ranged unit when you don't have archery. Going all David and Goliath style. Will you receive our diplomatic delegation in your capital? Sure, you can check out what we have to offer. Excellent. Maybe it's that calming guitar music. Pedro is a charmer. Alrighty. Where else are we going from here? Um. Well, warriors are that way. We've reached the end of the river. I guess let's, uh... Let it be known between us, I will repay treachery with blood. But if you're a true friend, we will have peace. Hello, nurse. Uh, Tomiris or Tomiris? I apologize if I mispronounce any of these names. <laughs> it will happen. Of the Scythian Empire. Honor to meet you. We have a city nearby. Would you like to visit? We could fit you for one of our pointy hats. <laughs> we would love to sample your hospitality, and I look forward to wearing your pointy hat. Ah. Okay. Interesting. Another civilization found. That is definitely not a city-state. And you guys have already been in some scraps, it looks like. Now, down south... We'll just con We'll continue... Well, actually, we can't really continue because we've got these hills up ahead. Let's go ahead and move back and just around, I'm thinking. How long until we get settlers? Uh, population. Five turns left until complete. Outstanding. Hmm. I have sent you a trade delegation bearing a decorated Goritos as a gift from you. You do have a bow, yes? I get. I think so. We haven't really discovered archery yet, I don't think. Or maybe a violin bow, so I can <laughs> fiddle while Rome burns. But that's Nero, not Trajan. Up ahead... It'd be nice if scouts could build cities. It's got some really good... Really good resources around the area. And I think we're going to send our scout up north to deal with this really awesome looking seahorse. Part of me doesn't really want the seahorse to go away, though. Hello, Slingman. Those are barbars, aren't they? Uh oh. Need to get our uh, scout out of dodge. First things first, though. Where's our warriors? Looks like we're heading into jungle territory. Major victory. You know what? Why not? Go forth, lone warrior. For 41 damage. Rabid dog. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh oh. Are you guys at war? 
Oh dear. Well, those barbarians had a bad day. No man ever wetted clay and then left it. As if there would be bricks by chance and fortune. And we have learned pottery. Huzzah. We have whoa, whoa, whoa. We have spotted barbarians approaching our city of Rome. Eh, it's okay. Could be worse. Let's get some writing down. And you guys remember my Civ uh, 5 playthrough. That's pretty much what I did. I just went with, with any tech, which was cheap. Well, no barbarians anymore. I guess we can continue exploring. It looks like we have found... a sea, at least, if not an ocean. Probably looks like another ocean. I love the... look at the waves. That is so cool. Now we really need to start... Whoop. We really need to start thinking about where... our next city is going to be located. Keep traveling along the coastline here. Got some rich farmland over here. I actually might send the Empire just along this area. There's our barbars. Two barbars, actually. And settlers are popping up next turn. Bring it, guys. And... Oh, it's Rio! I would like to take my... <laughs> I'd like to take a trip to Rio, please. So... Red? Red, apparently, is not good. Green might be good. Bonus resources. I've never seen this before. This might be range. To our city, I guess? Hmm. I, I want to... Recommended settlement location. Ah, okay. Do we have any nearby... It's also suggesting over here along this river, because we'll have access to clay and cattle again. But we have a problem right now because we are <laughs> we already we're already besieged by barbarians. So let's go ahead and choose production of what do you suggest? Another settler. Recommended because of our city center. Yeah, let's do that. Unit needs orders. Yeah, I, I know. Create a scort formation with warrior. Nice. I was wondering if they were ever going to do that. Let's skip that turn for now. We'll wait until the barbarians um, are no longer among us. Provided they actually attack the city instead of just hang out. And next turn. Let's see. Oh, how nice. They decided to uh, sick the scout. Speaking of which. And we don't kill the doggy. <laughs> that makes me happy. And, hmm. You know what? Let's go ahead and get... Let's go to our next unit. How can we do that? Because we've got the settler there. Ah, there we go. We'll just smite them from beyond the borders for 47 damage. And are those barbars too? Ah, oh, those are barbars. I think we'll have to have go on an escort mission here, guys, but we'll have to do that at the, in the next episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone. <laughs>